So basically, guys, what we're going to do today out of these plastic bottles that I have is we're going to make a little mini water filter. Okay, guys, the first thing I want to do is make some kind of stand. All right, so I'm going to uh, get these four sticks right here. I'm going to break some of these off. Get this. Okay, got this one. I got another one right here. I'm going to need like one or two more. So let me get some sticks ready uh, to make a frame and we'll be right back. Okay guys, in essence, <clears throat> what we're doing is I took that wood, that um, forked stick, and we made a frame so that the filter can sit right on top of it. So when the water filters out, it'll filter right into a cup underneath here. Okay? Now the components that I'm going to need, guys, is some of the stuff that you saw me take the other day, right? We have a container right here that I put some um, uh, gravel in, okay? We have some charcoal that I bought from a fire, and you guys remember, there was some sand in the street up here in the northeast. The roads are always sand through the winter time, so there's plenty of sand. And I just saw, I just found a um, just a sandwich bag in the street right next to the sand, so I just use that to gather it up. Okay, guys? We're going to need one more component. Now, um, when you make a filter, what you want to do is layer different components, okay? So when the water goes through, it'll be filtered out. Now, guys, I just want to point something out. What I do here, I'm not suggesting that you do. I'm just saying that I'm going to show you a way that I make a water system, a filtration system, but you're going to go do it on your own, research it on your own, and don't take what I say is law, right? That's the first thing. Okay, what you do is up to you. I'm just going to show you what works for me, all right? Now, when you make a water filter, especially an improvised one with stuff like this, um, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get potable, clean water, all right? You might and you might not, all right? I'm going to filter this water and then boil it to make sure. A lot of times when you make a filter, It'll take a lot of the chemicals out. It'll take a lot of the bacteria out. But it's not exactly a science to make sure that, like, uh, cryptosporidium spores won't come through here. Those are the real bad ones, Giratia and cryptosporidium. So boiling will get that out. A filter is going to get out all sorts of bacteria, viral, uh, pesticides, herbicides, that type of stuff. And where I'm right by the city, and if, if you're in the city and you need to filter water, that's something that you're going to have to watch out for. Chemicals in your water, all right? Yeah, the first thing we need to do, guys, cut the bottom of this off, right? So we've got to take my multi-tool here, probably the one with the serrated edge, and I'm just going to cut the bottom of this off, right about here. little cup for later. We need it. Right, guys? So this is basically the first step of getting the filter system. Okay? Now, we want to layer it. I could use, guys, uh, a bandana. I could use my sock. I could use part of my t-shirt as the most, the bottom layer. We want to go from the finest to the coarsest on the way up. Okay? So because I told you guys before, most of the time, I have one or two coffee filters in here, we're going to use this coffee filter 